Firuza Ya, Wikipedia Audio Firuza Ya is the historical Arabic term for equestrian martial exercise. Firuza Ya as a science is especially concerned with the martial arts and equestrianism of the Golden Age of Islam and the Mamluk period, reaching its peak in Mamluk Egypt during the 14th century. Its main branches concerned horsemanship, horse archery, and use of the lance, with the addition of swordsmanship as fourth branch in the 14th century. History The term is a derivation of Faris horse, and in modern standard Arabic means equestrianism in general. The term for horseman or cavalier is Faris, which is also the origin of the Spanish rank of al -Faraz. The Perso-Arabic term for Firza Yaya literature is Farisnma or Asbinma. Farusa Yaya literature, the Arabic literary tradition of veterinary medicine and horsemanship, much like in the case of human medicine, was adopted wholesale from Byzantine Greek sources in the 9th to 10th centuries. In the case of Farusa Yaya, the immediate source is the Byzantine compilation on veterinary medicine known as Hippiatrica, the very word for horse doctor in Arabic, Bayar, is a loan of Greek Pi Pi Iota Alpha Tauro Hippiatros. The first known such treatise in Arabic is due to Ibn Akism, an Abbasid era commander and stable master to Caliph al Mutadid, author of Kitb al Firziya Wa al Bayara. Ibn al-Nadim in the late 10th century records the availability in Baghdad of several treatises on horses and veterinary medicine attributed to Greek authors. The discipline reaches its peak in Mamluk Egypt during the 14th century. In a narrow sense of the term, Firza Yaya literature comprises works by professional military writers with a Mamluk background or close ties to the Mamluk establishment. These treatises often quote pre-Mamluk works on military strategy. Some of the works were versified for didactic purposes. The best known versified treatise is the one by Tabugha al-Baklamishi al-Yunani, who in ca 1368 wrote the poem Al-Tulab fi Marifat Rami al-Nushshav. By this time, the discipline of Firuza Yaya becomes increasingly detached from its origins in Byzantine veterinary medicine and more focused on military arts. The three basic categories of Firuza Yaya are horsemanship, archery, and charging with the lance. Ibn Qayyim al Yaziyya adds swordsmanship as a fourth discipline in his treatise Al Firuza Yaya. Persian Farisna which can be dated with confidence are extant only from about the mid-14th century, but the tradition survives longer in Persia, throughout the Seyfavid era. One treatise by Abd al known as the Bahman Faris Na with Makran Emma is said to preserve a chapter from an otherwise lost 12th century text. There is a candidate for another treatise of this age, Extant in a single manuscript, the treatise attributed to one moment B. Moment B. Zhang, also known as Qayyim Nevond, has been tentatively dated as originating in the 12th century. Some of the Persian treatises are translations from the Arabic. One short work, attributed to Aristotle, is a Persian translation from the Arabic. There are supposedly also treatises translated into Persian from Hindustani or Sanskrit. These include the Farisnma Yehem by Zain al-Bed no Sain Hiem, and the Tofate al adrabiyadra al dn Momad Khan b. Zeberdast Khan. Texts thought to have been originally written in Persian include the Asbinma by Momad b. Momad Uz. A partial listing of known Persian Farisnma literature was published by Gord Farmarts. List of known Farusiyya treatises Some of the early treatises are not extant and only known from references by later authors, Al-Asma'i, Kitb al-Kail, 
Ibn Abi al Dunya al Sab Wa al Ram, al Barn Fall al Ram, al Karb, Fadil al Ram. Ed. Heidi. List of Furusiyya treatises. Ed. Al Mirajn al Wan Lil Turth Wa al Thakfa, Riyadh, Ed. Muhammad Ibn La with Makran J N Ram. Silsi Lat Kutub Al Turth 6, Damascus, DA with Makran Arkin. The term Firziya, much like its parallel chivalry in the West, also appears to have developed a wider meaning of martial ethos. Islamic Firziya and European chivalry has both influenced each other as a means of a warrior code for the knights of both cultures. The term fris for horsemen consequently adopted qualities comparable to the western knight or chevalier. This could include free men, or unfree professional warriors, like gulams and mamluks. The mamluk era soldier was trained in the use of various weapons such as the sword, spear, lance, javelin, club, bow and arrows and tabarzan or axe. As well as wrestling. Furious. Sources.